Hello everyone, my name is Bruce. Today I'm going to be talking about and reviewing and unboxing my Franklin Kristoff Model 46 in Bermuda Blue that with a medium Nagahar medium stub nib on it that I got at the 2021 DC Pen Show. So let's start with the unboxing. So it comes in this white box, nice cardboard box. And then you can take the little flap off, open it up. And then inside, you have the pe a pen sleeve. And then you also get a couple cartridges. There was a car couple cartridges in there. I used one. So this is a lifetime warranty card that you get in the box. This is a mechanical warranty and it's signed on the back. And then you get another one. This is their business card. And then this is the Nagahara card. So this tells you that I have a Nagahara medium stub nib. And this is also, it's an HPS number six size nib because it's a 46 and it's a medium stub. Okay, so let's stick this back in the box. This stuff back in the box quick. Okay, okay, here's the pen sleeve. It's a nice fabric, has a YKK zipper on it. It unzips, and then that reveals the pen. This, I just love this material. It's Bermuda blue. This was is was left over from a, there's not many of these out there, but this material is left over from a Model 02 that was a exclusive to Gold Spot pens. But this, as you can see, this is a Model 46, which is a completely different pen. So to unscrew the cap, it's 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 about one and a quarter, one and a half rotations. Nibs a little foggy, uh, but it has these these block threads on it, as you can see right here. That actually makes so your grip doesn't rest on them if you get bothered by these threads on how you grip this pen, and it makes it quite comfortable to write with. So here's a look at that number six size Yovo nib with that grind on it. It's a nice Yovo nib. It has the FC logo, Franklin Kristoff logo. And so the pen is about five and a quarter inches long capped and uncapped, I'd say it's about five, but this has this really nice slope section, which is what I really care for. The pen's a great size. So, it is a cartridge converter pen. These are more these are standard for threads opposed to the block threads on the section. And it's a cartridge converter pen. It can fit cartridges or a standard international converter. This pen it can also be eyedroppered because it is made out of acrylic and it, there's no metal components inside. You just have to put some silicone grease on the certain parts of the pen. Okay, so Let's do, so, oh, uh, here's a couple more things. So, as you can see, if it'll show up on camera, eh, it's not gonna want to, but around this bit right here, it says Franklin Kristoff 46, and on the cap, you have a, if it'll show up, it's, it's a bit hard to see because of this material. Let's see, come on. You can kind of see it, but there's a Franklin Kristoff logo up there. And this pen is postable, but I don't post this pen because it is quite long. <laughs> okay, now for some size comparisons. Comparisons, and we use this little tiny pen, pen uh, pouch out of my Galen Leather A5 Zip Flow. You can check my other review on that. But let's set the Franklin Crest off here. This is about five inches long, or five and a quarter inches long. Here it is next to a Shown Design Ultim. I just love this pen. Okay, Shown Design Ultim, right there. And then here's it next to a Lamy 2000. I feel balanced, but come on, I have a better idea. Here's the Lamy. Why don't I tuck all these into here? Let's see. Oh no, they're hidden. Okay. And then stick the ultimate in. And then 
the Lamy 2000. So, good size pen, really comfortable in the hand. Okay, for uncap now, Lamy 2000. Here's here's the next to Lamy 2000 uncapped. It's about the same length, or it's actually probably exactly the same length. And let's post the pens. It looks a bit silly in my opinion posted because it's so long, although the Slammy 2000 does post deeply. So let's put the cap back on that. Here's the shown design. Okay, very good size pen, really good size pen. And then posted with the shown design, it is pretty close inside. It, size they have they both have U of O number six size nibs in them this one's unbranded this one has a Franklin Kristoff logo on it this is also an unground nib okay let's set these aside and now let's do a writing sample okay, now for a writing sample of the Franklin Kristoff model 46 with a Nagahara medium stub nib so this is a Franklin Kristoff M for model forty six and as you can see it's kind of the stub like characteristics here. This is a medium stub nib. My handwriting is terrible right now, I don't know why. Okay, and this ink is Monte Verde. Wow, I can't write straight today. Horizon Blue. It's also because I'm writing at odd angle. So here's some figure eights. Nib is quite smooth. I had I, I had sent it back and got some nib tuning just because I like to tilt my pen a little bit. And regard to wetness, pen is quite wet, even because also because this has that Monte Verde ITF ink in it with the which is the horizon blue and reverse writing. Actually not bad in reverse writing. And I think that uh, wraps up today's review on my freaking Kristoff Model 46. My name is Bruce, and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.